Hi, we're in spite of madness. This is take two. And this is a video on how to start a band. Um, Number one. There we go. Know who you are. We're talking mostly about names at this point. Ser alcohol. Don't pick a name that someone can't say when they're drunk, like now. So I started a band with my brother. Mm -hmm. Our original name was Fafnir's Bane. Fafnir is a mythological dragon and his bane is a sword. Drunk people can't say that. How do you spell that? F A F N I E R apostrophe S. N I E R. N I E R. In <laughs> my favorite uh, mispronunciation we got was a really drunk girl going, What's the name of your band? Bane? <laughs> and I was like, Yes. That's definitely the name of the band. Maybe, maybe pick a name that like people can pronounce. It helps. It really helps. Says Spider Madness drummer Bree Hill. <laughs> Spider Madness! Also, Google your name. Because someone else more prolific might already have the same name. <laughs> well, let's not pick up picking a name and not researching first to see who else might have the same name. Ben has a story about that, right? <laughs> what is this fucking bear in the big blue house? <laughs> Clink. We couldn't find three matching glasses. Why Whatever. Why do you have three matching glasses? It's in spite of madness. I have 12 of these. In spite of glasses. Point number two. Don't try it till you knock it. Point number two. Know what you are. As a band, know what you're about. Look, if you're going to have one project or multiple projects, <clears throat> decide what that's going to be. If you're doing this as a side project and you just want to get real experimental and weird and you're not worried about making money, great, do that. If you want to have a money-making project, maybe don't do the weird experimental thing. Maybe start a second group to do that. Don't, don't join too many bands. You That's... won't have a life. Don't yeah. confuse their projects together. Yep. Maybe you can work with those same people in a different project. Yep. Don't try to make one thing be your be-all end-all. Also, make sure the rest of your band agrees with that. If you all have different influences and you bring that together and you make music together through that, that can create something different and beautiful. You end up with some really wacky, crazy shit that's awesome. Yeah. Or, none of you really communicate how this works. You each just think it's a different band and kind of slam all that together in a really <laughs> ramshackle, sad way. It's gonna be bad. Nobody's gonna know what you are, including yourselves, and that's bad. Number three, know where you're going. Use the GPS of life. What do you want this to be? It might be a side project for someone and a main project for someone else, and it gets kind of conflicting and weird. You really have to communicate. Oh, if God, you just, yes. If you just stew in your own brain and form your own perceptions and deductions and keep spiraling off from there and the other person's doing the same thing there's a very good chance you're not in the same direction and a lot of misunderstandings will keep occurring frustrations will keep building up and it's not good for your health or the band's communication at the end of the day by the way we're in spite of madness we're a bunch of <laughs> and weirdos we don't know what we're doing we're still figuring our own shit out we by no means are saying we have the answers. This is just our advice, gathered from experiences, mistakes, successes, and such. About half a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, about- Oh, Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> Woo-wee! <laughs> yeah, that explains about most of this video. <laughs> Don't take our word for it. Figure out what you need to do to make the best choices possible. If you have questions, we will try our best to answer them. If you have ideas for future videos you'd like to see, let us know. Hit that like button. What, what's Smash the it. Words? Smash that Smash like button. Smash that like button. I'm gonna... This is disgusting. I'm walking away. <laughs>